Hospitals everywhere are committed to the highest standards of patient care. But today, hospitals are busier, staff are stretched, patient acuities are increasing, and standards of care are changing. I need help here. Sudden cardiac arrest is a prime example. Recently, the American Heart Association, European Resuscitation Council, and International Liaison Committee on Resuscitation declared in-hospital response to sudden cardiac arrest can and must be significantly improved by including AEDs and BLS responses. The capability to provide early defibrillation within patient care areas is an obligation of the modern hospital. Healthcare providers with a duty to perform CPR should be trained, equipped, and authorized to attempt defibrillation. 30% of sudden cardiac arrests occur in a hospital environment. The likelihood of survival decreases 7 to 10% with every minute defibrillation is delayed. But evidence has accumulated that delays of 5 to 10 minutes are common before ALS teams can administer a first shock. The new treatment goal is defibrillation within three minutes of arrest in all areas of the hospital. Hospitals need the very best tools to help achieve this goal. LifePak 20 Defibrillator Monitor. What happened? He went down the hallway. We shocked him once without a pulse. Sudden cardiac arrest can happen anywhere, anytime in a hospital. So hospitals need a defibrillator that can serve any level of user, wherever, whenever. The LifePak 20 saves time by letting BLS responders deliver the first shock. Then it saves more time by seamlessly progressing to ALS therapy options when the code team arrives. Charging, all clear? All clear. Easy to use for early defibrillation, advanced enough for the code team. Life Pack 20. Let's go see Grandpa. Hi, Hi Mama. Hi. This must be your granddaughter. Oh, so nice to see you. I've heard lots about you, see. I hope you feel better. Quite a lot better, yes. Thank you.